Hey friends, welcome back to Thriving New Mom. This is a new page. I am making content that correlates and supplements my website information at thrivingnewmom.com. So if you're interested, check it out. I will link it below. If you like the content that I'm providing, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe down below and stay tuned for more videos. All right, so as I said, we're gonna talk about the auto injector. So the auto injector that I purchased and used through IVF was from Union Medico. It is the Needle Guide Assistant Super Grip. They do come in various sizes, so make sure that you're ordering the one that appropriately matches the syringe size you are gonna be using for your PIO injections. They come from 0 0.5 mils to 5 mil syringe sizes as options, as well as 4 to 40 millimeter needle options. So this is the auto injector. I purchased mine in blue. There are a couple different color options available both sides here. This cost me about $100. Um, it is sold in euros on Union Medico's website. Um, so the conversion is about $97, so about $100 there. Not super, super cheap, but definitely not super expensive. So worth the buy if you ask me. So again, make sure that you're ordering the right size for the syringes you're going to be using. As you can see, mine says BD 3 mil lure lock. That is the exact syringe size I am using for my PIO injections. I really like this device because it makes your IM injections a little bit smoother and easier to do on yourself, especially if you're reaching around to the glute. As you can imagine, going to the left side, if you're right hand dominant, is very difficult to do while you're kind of leaning backwards, bending backwards. So this makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so just an easy, quick demonstration on how to use this device. This is where you're gonna load your syringe. The plunger is back this way. Needle is down through this area here with this needle guard. You pull it back, that engages the device. It is now locked though, it instantly locks. So you see this red, that means it's locked. So it's a safety mechanism you cannot accidentally inject yourself. It's also a child lock. So green is good to go. Device works. So this button right here will release and you hear that really loud snap. That is a really strong, forceful one direction insertion, which is really helpful with these deep IM injections. Kind of keeps you from having the shaking that would happen if you're just freehand doing your injection. Okay, so a little tip. Once you have pulled this back, you're getting ready to inject into your site. You have released the lock, you're green good to go. You're placing it on your site. You're gonna see an LED light turn on. This LED light is not meant to stay on like this. If it is just on like this, that means you're pressing too hard. It is meant to just flicker. This is actually a pressure guide. So if you're holding that is too much pressure, you want it to just kind of flicker in and out that means you're just right. What I really liked about this device is it takes away the fear of stabbing yourself. So you still do have to press the plunger of the syringe down once it's injected. So for example, do like a fake injection. I still have to push the plunger down to inject the medication, but the actual stabbing motion has now been taken away with this device, which is really helpful to get over that mental hump the fear of stabbing yourself, which was my biggest hold back when it came to doing the deep IM injections. So this made that a lot easier. You can technically also use this device for subcutaneous or fatty area injections. Um, you just need to make sure that you're getting the appropriate needle length engaged for that specific type of injection. The needle lengths for the IM injections are gonna be longer than they would be for a subcutaneous injection. I do also really like that it comes with a pretty thorough instruction manual that's pretty easy to understand and follow. Um, one of the things that I like is it talks about aspiration control. So it kind of um, explains to someone pretty easily how you can check to make sure you're not in a blood vessel. So yeah, I just really like this instruction manual. Big picture is easy to use, easy to read. 
So yeah, that is my review of the Needle Guide from Unico. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I'm just a happy mom and a happy customer that used this for the 10 weeks I had to do my PIO injections after I had a successful transfer. So if you don't have one, I highly recommend getting one. Made my entire process a lot easier and smoother. Yeah, definitely worth it.